Secret reports into police shootings are about to be made public, something that activists have been calling on for years. In fact, SIU reports into police shootings dating back decades will be posted online. Uh, the province today immediately enforcing and bringing in some of the key recommendations in this review, a massive overhaul of the way police are policed and an overhaul of what information you are entitled to know about those investigations. This is footage from 1988, outrage over the deaths of two black men, Lester Donaldson and Michael Wade Lawson. We did not want to first time. We did not want to first time. The ensuing protest by the Black Action Defense Committee led to the creation of the Special Investigations Unit back in 1990. <laughs> And it was Black Lives Matter and the police shooting death of Andrew Loku two years ago that triggered this year-long judicial review into the SIU and oversight bodies that investigate officer misconduct and public complaints. The people of Ontario are entitled and deserve to know that when it comes to the operation of police services in the province, justice is not only done, but it is seen to be done. This is the judge who has released 129 recommendations on how to better police the police. The report calls on a coroner's inquest to be held every single time there is a police-involved death, even if the officer is cleared of wrongdoing. The SIU will investigate every time a police officer fires a weapon, even if no one was injured. But the most compelling recommendation is that SIU reports dating back decades into police-involved deaths, for the most part kept secret from the public, be released. Should more information be released to the public about SIU investigations? In a word, yes. In my view, as much information as possible should be shared with the public about all aspects of the operations of the oversight bodies. Sitting in the front row in the hotel ballroom listening to the judicial recommendations, Joanne McIsaac, whose brother Michael was shot by police in Ajax during what the family says was a medical crisis. No charges were ever laid. You had to fight for your brother for an inquest into a coroner's inquest into your brother's death. Other families will not have to from now on. Well, I guess that's something too. And, and it's really hard, A.B., because even saying that these are good things, I just wish it never happened. So you can talk about restructuring the SIU and, and add more paper, but let's stop this from happening. There's been widespread demands for the release of the names of police officers who are cleared of wrongdoing, but Justice Michael Tullock says he is not making that recommendation. Many police officers live in small communities. In these circumstances, releasing their names after they have been cleared of charges by the SIU could lead to stigmatization and further stress. They were afraid for safety because some of these police officers live in small towns, etc. But these names eventually come out in the coroner's inquest, and I don't think there's been an instant of, of a police officer being ambushed after a coroner's inquest when the name came out. Now, this uh, review also releases some statistics that we didn't know before. In fact, from 2002 to 2016, there were almost 4,000 SIU investigated incidents. Charges were only laid in 129 of those cases. As I was mentioning, there are 129 recommendations in here. Uh, many of these recommendations have been made for years, but the government has not acted on them. So surprising today, they did act on a handful of those. Uh, coming up, our Cynthia Mulligan will tell you just which ones.